<clears throat> Hello everyone. My subject today is vegetarian diets and their effects on the environment. My claim of fact is that shifts to vegetarian diets will have substantial benefits to the environment. And here's why. First, shifts to vegetarian diets will decrease the use of natural resources. Second, shifts to vegetarian diets will almost eliminate massive water and air pollution. Third, shifts to vegetarian diets will lead to environmental sustainability in the future. Now back to my first supporting claim. Shifts to vegetarian diets will decrease the use of natural resources, and this is because, according to Choose Veg, a guide to vegetarian living, raising animals for food, including land used for grazing and growing feed crops, now uses 30% of the Earth's mass. This is a problem because the land used for raising animals degrades the soil they are on. If meat consumption continues to grow, more land could be used for livestock, and there's a possibility that half of our planet could be covered in unusable soil. Locally, nearly half of the water <coughs> used in half of the water used in the United States goes to raising animal for food. For example, according to the Water Education Foundation, it takes 2,464 gallons of water to produce one pound of beef just in California. The gallons are much higher in unregulated parts of the world. Choose Beg declares almost 80% of land deforested in the Amazon <coughs> is now used as cattle pasture. This is a problem because land is home to a variety of animals, plants, and trees. And I'd also like to mention that the Amazon is home to our very own oxygen source, trees. Second, shifts to vegetarian diets will almost eliminate massive water and air pollution. And this is because the animal waste from factory farms gives off harmful gases, such as ammonia, methane, and hydrogen sulfide, as well as clouds of dust and particles, which pollute our air. Vegetarian Times Magazine defines methane as a gas that traps heat in the atmosphere and causes the Earth's temperature to rise. To be more specific, growing livestock to eat may be one of the causes of global warming, which harms our environment. But if that doesn't convince you, Vegetarian Times adds that the ammonia can react with other gases in the air and cause respiratory problems and contribute to smog and acid rain. As for water pollution, newriverfoundation.org gives a perfect case of water pollution from raising livestock to eat. Some farmers use manure lagoons as a safe way to store millions of gallons of animal waste. In other words, farmers put a bunch of cow and hog and chicken poop in one area of land and just store it there. And in 1995, 25 million gallons of manure and urine spilled from a hog farm lagoon in the New River in North Carolina. More than 10 million fish were immediately killed. Also, on National Geographic's website, you can find information of a 8,561 square mile dead zone on the Gulf of Mexico. This dead zone depletes oxygen and kills aquatic life instantly. The cause is pollution coming from livestock and agriculture waste. Third, shifts to vegetarian diets will lead to environmental sustainability in the future. The Vegan Society, established in 1944 and down to earth, Hawaii's le leading organic food chain, summarizes it best. Quite simply, we do not have enough food to feed on an animal-based diet. So while 840 million people do not have enough food to eat, we continue to waste valuable ag agricultural land by obtaining only a small fraction of its potential calorific value. This is because livestock animals consume much more protein, water, and calories than they actually produce. Meat is now the single <coughs> largest source of animal protein in all nations, and demand for animal flesh is expected to more than double by the year 2050. In order to meet this growing appetite, <coughs> animals will no doubt be reared more int intensely and cheaply with factory farming and fish, far and fish farming, causing further pollution, water demand, and land usage. In conclusion, shifts to vegetarian diets will decrease the use of natural resources, 
water and air pollution, and increase environmental sustainability. <coughs> Thank you. All right, uh, the topics identified clearly. Uh, you did have a good preview of what the structure was going to be. There was signposting on the secondary claims as you got into the body of the speech. Um, you cited at least one example. There's a whole bunch of hypotheticals also. There was one piece of statistical information on water availability, uh, but that seemed like it was not as well developed as it was going to be. I thought that that was going to be a bigger issue, and as it turns out, it's, you know, only partially discussed. There's a lot of expert testimony, but of course it does seem to come from advocacy groups, so you might want to be a little bit careful about that. Uh, there were some pieces of information that I think you give conclusions for that I'm not sure are documented. For instance, you mentioned the dead zone in the Gulf, and you say that comes from animal f uh, waste runoff. And I didn't know what the basis for that conclusion was. I only know that uh, you can see the picture of it in National Geographic, but I don't know how they reached the conclusion that that is a result of animal waste runoff. I don't, I'm not saying that it's not. I'm just saying I don't know that, having listened to your speech, how they reached that particular conclusion. Uh, you did a pretty good job citing your sources uh, throughout the presentation. Again, I do think that you're a little bit dependent on uh, the sources that are obviously uh, from an advocacy position on, uh, you know, v vegan lifestyles or vegetarianism. So if you had some more independent information, I think that would help. Your example about the lagoons that leaked, I mean, that's a 20-year-old example. I think you need to find some more contemporary examples. I think the Gulf example is, is a good illustration of the point, assuming you've got a link on that particular point. All right, thank you.